Hello again. Today we are going to work on a framed picture and we're going to use the porcelain crackle effect on it as well. So we'll start with the base of the frame. This is an MDF frame. This is the base. And the first thing we will have to paint the background white so then we can see the picture on it. So I'll take a little bit of the acrylic white and, and just you don't have to paint the whole base, just that part that will be visible. Here, so still, it's almost to the edges, but not. There's no need to paint the whole of it, really. No, that will be okay. No, it's beautiful weather today, so we just let it dry in the sun, and it will dry instantly. The paper that we are going to work today is this one that I have here. It's an A5 format, so like a um, half size of the regular size of paper. Uh, mostly we work with um, rice paper or napkins. Today I'll show you what to do with so-called soft paper. Um, soft paper is very nice for bigger surfaces flat surfaces mostly and the only thing that you need to do with soft paper is that it has to be wet before you apply it so first we yeah we just cut off this part here now our base is <coughs> almost ready we just have to see where exactly it's gonna fit okay so i still have a bit of the axis in the corners and So we know where it's going to go and the first thing that we have to do is to prepare the paper, which means we have to wet the paper. Just a regular brush with a bit of water and just go all over it, make sure that it's wet everywhere. Yes, like this. Fine. And before we glue it, you need to put a little bit of the glue on the base. Just the standard decoupage glue. And now there goes the paper. Um, And you can just smooth it with your hands as it goes. Now, just make sure it's in the right place. Perfect. And now, a little bit of the glue on top. Make sure that it's really glued to the base. Perfect. And now we just need to wait till it's dry and then we'll be doing the crackle effect. You can always smooth it a little bit with your hand. That's fine. And off for drying. 
and while it's drying in the meantime we could start working on the frame and what we need to do is we need to paint the frame in some colors that would correspond to the picture so for this one I decided to go with a bit of um, beige cream and we'll have a little bit of the green accents and maybe a bit of brown uh, bristle spraying and a little bit of brown aging. Um, I'm using just uh, basic acrylic paints. These are from Cadence. This time it's style matte and a little bit of what is called antique powder but actually it's not in the powder form it's just in the form of a paint so what we start first we take the light color for this kind of a frame it's good to have like this brush um, two or three colors at most and we go over maybe it's a little bit too dark so you can always add a little bit of the white. Ah, oh, no, this is the nicer color now. So we have to paint the whole frame. And don't forget that we will have to paint the edges of it as well. Now, I'm using the brush, but if you prefer to go with the sponge or you can do a bit of brush first and then sponge over. That's up to you, whichever you feel more comfortable with. I need a little bit more white. It's white. first base color and remember that we have to do all those edges around and also we will have to do the edges on the base where we put the paper as well so just a moment for this can be a little bit tricky on this type of a frame can always use a smaller brush, I suppose. No, don't worry if some of it goes over the other side, doesn't matter. Okay. Of course, if you prefer, you can do the edges with a completely different color. If you don't like that unified version, you can always go for a bit of different color. And if you want, you can always finish them off with a bit of um, uh, gold wax or some aging patina as well. Now, almost done. to do the inside of the frame as well. And on the body it is not just to do the inside as well. Go with a 
out just without getting your hands dirty, but yes, that's okay. And top. So we have this color done and we can put it aside for drying okay. and in the meantime we can get back to our base with the picture which is nicely dry and we have to do the same here with the edges they are a bit narrower here the same color that I'm using because once they are put together and they are glued they have to look exactly the same A bit awkward those little shapes here but getting there okay now we have all the edges done the same color as we had in the rain so let's get this and now this is dry, so we can do the next stage, which is a crackle effect. And today we're going to use the um, two component crackle. This one is from Pentart, and it's called the fine line crackle. And but you can do any other brand, any other two component crackle. Um, what you have to remember that with the crackle um, you need a really soft uh, and dry brush you can't take the brush like just out of the bucket with water and the glass of water you need to use the completely dry one um, with the crackle you do the first step uh, you leave it to dry and then when it's almost totally dry you apply the second step and then dry again um, but i can show you that actually you can also use just one of them you can only use step two and apply it over the you need to apply quite a lot of it and the more you do the bigger the cracks the more visible the cracks will be okay so here we have this make sure that it's really even perfect and now off to the sun again i don't know if you can see that glaze already off to the sun um to let it dry it's perfect sun today so it will dry fast if it's not such a beautiful sunny day well you have to really wait for the crackle to appear you have to the best is to leave it over the night and then the next day use a bit of a hair dryer to to dry it totally to get the cracks appear now we are getting back to our frame 
So we have the first color done and we're gonna apply the next one. So we're going for, we can still use the first colors we had, maybe a little bit more of this and then a bit darker shade there and for this I'm gonna use sponge, just a piece of a kitchen sponge and just dab it a little bit like in a few places doesn't have to be everywhere this is the first color that we had and maybe a little bit on the other side bit around the edge, not that much, just to have like a effect around the edges here. And now a bit of the other darker color. Let's put a bit of this in this sponge. Maybe a little bit here. A bit here. You can always take a new piece of sponge and just it dries really fast today with the sun. I might use a little bit of the white again. It's really up to you like what kind of colors and how many different shades you want to use. I think this is kind of nice. And yeah, that's that will be the base color scheme which is kind of um light brown beige with a little bit of the white and it's dry now so for the bit of a contrast uh, because there was a bit of green in the picture so we're gonna use a bit of green here as well this is as I said antique powder which is basically like um, kind of a paint which is for that aging effect and it has um, kind of like chalky finish so you put a little bit of it on the sponge again and just dip it delicately in some places maybe some around this dark brown you can use the brush of course um, you can use the sponge or you can just use your fingertips as well whatever you feel most comfortable with We let it dry again and then we'll have to varnish now i realized i didn't bring any varnish here so i'll just pause it for a moment get the varnish ready and we will continue 
Sure. Okay, I'm back. So now we can varnish. I'm gonna use just the regular water-based varnish for this and using a soft flat brush we'll just give one layer just for the very basic first line of protection before we can do a little bit more with it so just brush it all around I can't believe it's drying so fast today, I think in that beautiful sun. And there, that's right. And the most tricky parts. Forget to varnish the sides as well. It gives a nice finish and extra protection for the paints, of course. Although these cadence paints are really hard, sturdy ones, so they don't need that much. This is already dry, just after literally a few minutes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is to give a little bit more of that aged look. And for this I'm gonna reuse first a bit of antique paint. Um, you can also use liquid vitamin or you can use uh, vitamin paste or you can just use some brown paint. Now, antique paint is, it is an acrylic paint, but it's very more liquid form than a regular paint. So you take a little bit of it, and you will need a bit of it. And you apply a little bit in a few spots where you would like it, and then rub it in with a piece of cloth, a piece of a cotton cloth. You just have to rub it really fast if it's drying so quickly like today. And just gives that look as if the piece is older than it actually is. If you like that kind of effect. If you don't, that's fine too. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna do with it, uh, using some bit smaller brush and a little bit of the liquid treatment and I do a bit of the bristle spraying. So you put a little bit of bitumen or acrylic paint on the small brush and you delicately bristle spray it in some spots like a little bit of those tiny drops oh, that, that might be enough I want to make this Mm -hmm. And we'll wait a little bit till it dries and then we'll varnish again. And for the inside of the frame, you can leave it just 
the way it is or you can rub in a little bit of um, wax or patina um, I have a bit of powdered mica here which is also nice and just rub a little bit of that gold just want a little tiny accents of gold around into some places no that's that's enough okay looks dry that's fine so now we can give more varnish um usually i i do about like three to five layers for this type of if it's just a decorative piece it depends what kind of varnish this one is a water-based varnish with um, satin finish so it's not totally matte but it's not really glossy either it just has a delicate a little delicate effect of a very delicate shine No, that's, that's here, and on the inside as well. That's perfect. That's perfect. And today, maybe one more, since it's almost a little bit dry. You can still give a bit more. And so we have the frame done and now we will have to go back to the base with our picture and see how that crackle is doing i'll pause a little a little moment again this one goes to the sun to dry and we'll be back with you in a second <laughs> 